there everybody and we are back and today we are talking about what does the bible say about faith so let's get into it though uh first peter 1 and 8 says though you have not seen christ you love him and even though you do not see him now you believe in him and are filled with an Im- immersible joy and glorious to you now this is the NIV version y'all if you reread that um, this verse in the King James it says you are filled with the joy unspeakable and glory I believe it's to that effect um, but definitely you want to go in and read this yourself first Peter 1 and 8 whether you use the NIV or the KJV is basically telling you plain and simple you know you believe in him and you love him you won't, you have never seen God he's never come down here and knocked on your door and say hey how you doing but you just know that there's something out there greater than you because you know you didn't put you here you know that your organs are not doing what they're doing because anything that you're doing that it's a, something that's that wants you to be here they have these near-death experiences that people escape by the skin of their teeth that is that's favor okay so don't get it twisted so let's go first timothy 4 verse 9 and 10 this is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance and for this we labor and strive that we have put on we have put our hope in the living god who is the savior of all men and especially of those who believe okay so yeah still with that believing faith is believing faith is believing believing in capabilities believing and positive outcomes believe you all that is relies all that requires you to have faith in something all right so psalms 33 and 22 may you be unfailing love may may, maybe that says your okay may your unfailing love rest upon us O lord even as we put our hope in you okay so faith is also hope in something having hope in something, believing in something, um, all these things are faith. Romans 4 and 3, what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Okay, so believing in God, according to Romans 4 and 3, is, is, is believing in God is considered being righteous. So you definitely want to have some faith and believe in God because that makes you righteous. All right. And I, I mean, righteous is a beautiful thing. All right. So we're on to Romans 5 and 1. And once again, we are reading out of the NIV version. Um, I do use the King James version, but I just happen to have these notes written in the NIV. All right. Since we have been justified through faith, Romans 5 and 1, y'all. Since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, John 14 and 12, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. Love that, because I am going to the Father. All right, so Matthew 17 and 20, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Oof. I got to put my hands up for that one. Now, I love that one. Now, that's a Christian one right there about the faith of the parable, about uh, the, the faith of a mustard seed. If you ever see the must, a mustard seed, y'all, y'all got to pick up a mustard seed with, uh, with tweezers are so small, you know. But they said if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be moved. Man, that's so powerful. Ooh, you got to get you some of this faith, y'all. If you ain't got no faith in that, I don't know how you surviving. You, I know you scared. I know you unsure. I know you're shaky. I know you're confused. If you don't have no faith, you know what I'm saying? Because what else do you have to hope for? What, 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 what I mean, 
what's your motivation for getting up tomorrow if you don't have no faith that there's even going to be a tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. All right, so let's go to um, Mark 8, verse 34 and 35. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must first deny himself and take up his cross and follow one. For whosoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. And Romans, we're going to, uh, the next one is Romans 3, 22 to 24. Righteousness, though God, through God, come through faith. Righteousness through God come through faith. In Jesus Christ, to all who believe, there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory and are justified justified for free justified freely by his grace through redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Mm. All right. And we will be right back because, as I stated, I live on Railroad Avenue, and here comes another train by Shiva Mashiaki Hawasha. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit just to bring you a word and some goodness, you know, so you can get your day going. And if you already get your day going, then have the rest of the day be good. Okay. So before we get into my topic, I just want to tell you so much for, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You can listen to anybody. I appreciate you listening to me. Um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you'd like to do some business, NicoleArcher.com. That's A-R-N-I-C-O-L-E-A-R-C-H-A. Dot com. Um, you can definitely hit me up. Uh, we can make an appointment. If you need some counseling or whatever, I'm here to assist you in any way I possibly can. Lady, and as I stated, don't let money stop you from reaching out to me. If you need assistance to talk to, I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't have to always be about a dollar. Iron sharpen if iron. So I'm here for you regardless. You young ladies, you know, hit me up if you're going through something and you need some advice. I'm here. So, today we are going to talk about, we're going to, I'm asking you the question, what does the Bible say about faith? Um, We covered another topic like this before, and I received an email that says, let's talk about faith. So, basically what I did was, um, I went into the NIV Bible this time, um, and that's the New International Version. Uh, I went into that, and I pulled these. Uh, scriptures that talk about faith. I'm not adding anything to it. I'm not taking away from it. Ladies, make sure you have your head covered. And gentlemen, make sure you have your head uncovered so that we are keeping with the word. All right, and let's get into it. So the first chapter that we're going to, first passage that we're going to discuss is Hebrews 11 and 1. And it says, now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Okay, because you're definitely, you don't know what your salvation is going to be because unfortunately, no one has ever come back from the dead and told us, you know, what it's like being dead, you know, by accuracy, you know, that's you know, somebody might have had that ghost experience, but <laughs> I personally have had it. So we all have dreams. We all have, we call them dreams, but that is, that's faith. When you, when you believe in something that you don't know is there, that you know that you don't have access to, that's faith. You know what I'm saying? That's period. You believe in yourself. I, I believe that if I if I go to school and if I work real hard, that I'll get a good job. That's faith. That's having faith in this, in, in your education and your capabilities and just what we've been led to believe, period. All right. So the next uh, verse will be 1 Peter 1 and 21. It says, 
through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. Okay? Yes. Um, totally. I believe that, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you've been oppressed, it's not a lot of stuff that you don't, uh, you don't have a lot of belief in things. You have to have something. Faith, the faith in God grounds you and it provides you the courage, the tenacity, the, just the, the wisdom to move forward and be great in life. So with that, I know we only covered two scriptures, but y'all know I live on Railroad Avenue. So we'll be back after this train. Hey everybody, and we are back. And thanks so much for tuning in to the Average Woman Podcast. Um, just want to say we are talking about what does the Bible say about faith? So it's important that we know what the Bible says so we can use God's words to make us stronger and to step our game up. If you know what the Bible says, you know that God's word cannot come back as a lie, that his word is always going to be true and every man else is going to be a liar. So because we know that, we are going to, you know, step our game up and allow the Most High to have his perfect work with us. You know what I'm saying? Who don't want to be perfect? The only way that you can be perfect is to totally submit yourself. Just throw your hands up in the air and fall back into the love and just the will of the, what the Most High wants you to do. That's how you really give up the ghost. That's how you really set yourself apart from everybody else. You don't worry about what the world and, and how people think about you. What you do is you give all your honor, your energy to please it and be in a glory to the Most High because that's the one that's keeping your heart pumping damn everybody else. The one that's keeping your heart pumping, that's the one that you go hard for and be like, look, I'm tap dancing super hard for you because I want I want you, when you take my little clay body off the shelf and you take a look at my body, I want you to say, this one right here, this a good girl. She did everything that she could to, 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 to do what I needed her to do and to be that person. And when you got favor, and, and that's developing favor with God. And when you develop favor with God, man, I'm telling you, it seemed like we, I mean, I've, I've known women like that, just just got favor with God, just favor with them. He just love them. Anything they want, he'd be like, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Take that there, too. I mean, your, your basket just never run empty, you know? Your basket just never run empty with blessings. Most high always got something for you. You'd be like, you just showing out now. You know, you just showing out. Then that's just that good, that's just that good blessing that he'll put on you when you just in his favor, when he got love for you, you know what I'm saying? But you got to line yourself up with the word and keep that word and be doing what he say, because that's, it's important. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so Romans 4, verse 4 and 5 says, Now then, a man works his wage, let's say, now, when a a man works his wage are not credited to him as a gift but as an obligation however to the man who does not work but trust God who justified the wicked his faith is credited as righteousness alright and now we're going to Romans 4 and 13 it was not through law that Abraham and his offspring received the promise that he would be heir of the world but through the righteousness of that come faith but through the righteousness of that come faith okay so through his righteousness he was able to be promised the world because he did what God asked him to do okay so John 3 in verse 18 whosoever believes in him is not condemned but whosoever does no does not believe stand condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God one and only son 
All right. So y'all, I'm sure that there are plenty more uh, scriptures about faith, but that is all that I have today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please go to my YouTube channel, like and subscribe. Tune in. If you need any type of service, you can definitely hit me up. NicoleArcher.com. I'm always available at my email, queenfromcreation at gmail.com. Do not hesitate to hit your sister up with that. Shalom. Thank you.